Welcome everyone to my first video dive from New Zealand. We've just arrived after a, after a 35 hour long flight, which uh, was pretty hideous. We had uh, a few delays. Uh, we saw the inside of uh, Bangkok Airport and, and Sydney Airport, but that was about it. Um, I'm in my fetching Hilton hotel room. Um, I would show you the view from the window, but unfortunately I've got building to building, which is uh, not the most interesting. Um, it's about eight o'clock in the evening here. So I'm going to try and uh, go to sleep. We did have a strategy to avoid a jet lag, which was to stay awake for the first 11 hours and then sleep for the second eight hours. Um, unfortunately, it didn't really quite go according to plan. Uh, a few guys um, tried their best. I, I managed about seven hours and then, and then had to give in. But I'm about to go and try and go to sleep now. And um, yeah, I'll be back with you guys very shortly. Oh, Alright, Dan. Yeah. Don't go with Dan Waldo. Trade you in, mate, for a better deal. Wasps all green with you, Waldo. Obsessed with that, mate. Right, wasps. You know, we're not getting it, Peter. That's cool. Rich can do that. That's good. What, move, mate? I Sweet. I bought you a nose trimmer. Oh yeah, you did actually. Yeah. yeah. Hey. <laughs> what sort of stuff are we getting to be honest, exciting, um, a little bit dangerous, dangerous my middle name. Um, it is worrying, I wouldn't say it's too loud because I think the owners of the club might hear, but I haven't played golf for a long while um, and I'm concerned. I have got some divot refiller, so that's what I'm going to say, but I'm excited. So there's, no, uh, there's not going to be any tips for heating on the course? Um, well, this is where I come to my own. Driving buggies. Now, I'll give you a few tips on it. I'm, I'm, I'm going on the equivalent of British I'm, Top Gear uh, soon for buggy driving. Yeah, I'm told that uh, line out calls will be coming up the second hole. Oh, it's already frisked me down from the line out sheet, but you know, it's not going to happen. <laughs> We're, uh, we know what you want like. Nice, guys, thank you. Same for the Yeah. So, what can we expect for the year? What are we going to see? Oh, a stunning performance, I think. New Zealand all the way. <laughs> lots of looks and lots of slices for me. I'll be straight down the middle. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> nice. Okay, which way are you guys going? Would love to, bro. Right? Oh, oh, oh. oh no, you hit the run. Oh. That wig's out his what? Noise. <laughs> So you, so you, I'm going to follow, oh, I'm, what, 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 I don't actually know where we're going. You want to go to golf? Oh, I've had a bit off, mate. You've got the gloves, but you must be expensive. <laughs> no, nothing like that. Do you put some gloves or something? No, I'll ask the next one back. No, I'll ask the next one back. 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 in the afternoon here in New Zealand. Um, we've had a busy first morning. We've had to uh, do a spin session, uh, which for those of you familiar is pretty pretty hideous. It's uh, a way of flushing out all the, uh, the muscles and doing a bit of exercise, which um, didn't go down too well, as I think a few guys were struggling with a bit of jet lag this morning. Um, but yeah, otherwise um, I'm feeling pretty good. We've got a team activity this afternoon that are keeping very tight. Um, keeping the information very tight to the chest. So I'm not sure exactly what, uh, what that's gonna be, whether it's uh, going to be going on the boat or something like that, but it uh, no doubt will be very exciting. Um, this is my room. It's uh, not the most amazing, I have to say, but at least everything's uh, tidy. I did talk about a nice view, but unfortunately, 
there's nothing uh, nothing amazing to see. There's a little bit of the harbour, but that's uh, that's about it. Uh, and everything else is uh, everything else is reasonably tidy. I've got my uh, my trusty Mac laptop that I never go anywhere out. I've got my uh, Xbox um, and, a, and a few uh, and a few video games. But to be honest with you, I think I'll be uh, so tired for most of the time here that I won't be uh, I won't be doing too much. It's the uh, first day before the first test. Um, it's been a pretty difficult uh, last few days with training because um, obviously we're doing a lot more training than we normally would um, when we're out here because you know we've got a new team, so we're trying to uh, put things together. So um, there's a few tired bodies around, but we've had a nice meal out this evening. Uh, we're gonna have a day off tomorrow. I think a lot of guys are just gonna rest and uh, take it easy, and then uh, we've got a team run on Friday and also a game on Saturday. Um, all the jet lag's gone, luckily enough. Uh, the hotel we're staying at's uh, been really nice. We did have a, a, a cruise ship um, arrive just outside our window because we're right on the harbour wall, which did unload some interesting characters. I saw at least two hunchbacks and uh, a guy with a ginger afro, which sort of lightened the mood on the way to train uh, this morning. But hopefully, uh, the next few sessions uh, are going to go really well and obviously we're going to the game feeling fresh and, and looking forward to a massive challenge against the very good New Zealand side. It's uh, a couple of hours before the first test against New Zealand. Um, it's odd to think that we spent uh, seven or eight days here preparing for, for 80 minutes of rugby. Um, we've obviously trained very hard this week, maybe done a bit more than we would have liked because of how big the game is. Um, it's always weird at this time uh, when it's only a few hours before kick off just because you've packed your bag, you're getting yourself ready, uh, you don't want to start overthinking and playing the game too soon. Um, and it's also weird because it, you know it's going to be a real physical challenge, so you're sitting there um, knowing that you know in two or three hours time you're really going to have to put your body on the line and, and, and put into practice all the things you've done in training. So I just prefer to just try and chill out, relax. Um, I do a little pre-game warm-up. Um, a few uh, a few lengths of the car park, just running up and down, and have a little bit of food, and then just chill out and uh, watch a film or something. And then, obviously, nearer the time, we start building things up. Um, I think we are going to win. It's going to be a, a tough game, but we'll, I'm looking forward to the challenge.